And we just heard from MP for Secondary Lawyer Ijapa Mesa and MP for Tamil North Al Hassan Suhini. They gave us a review of how the year has been. Now, we're talking about the MPP Delegates Conference that happened over the weekend. And the Vice President, Dr. Baumia, says we have stabilized the economy and reduced suffering of Ghanaians. And that's what he says. Now, let's listen to him again and get ready to phone in and then listen to your views on that. Mr. President, we've reduced suffering. We've reduced the suffering of a lot of parents by doubling the capitation grant. We are absorbing the what the waxi registration fees and we are absorbing the fees for postgraduate medical training and we have also restored research allowances to our people we are relieving the pain of sickle cell sufferers through the introduction of a drug like hydroxyurea we are employing more disabled people for our toll booths 50 percent of our toll booths are manned by disabled people. I could go on and on, but the point is that we have implemented social interventions that have reduced the suffering of our people. I have challenged the NDC. They should give us one. Bakupe, Bakupe in their eight years, eight years of government. They should give us one social intervention they implemented to reduce the suffering of our people. They cannot, they have not been able to, but they are supposed to be the social democratic party. And that was the vice president. And that was the vice president over there with his comments on stabilizing the economy. Please do call now. Our numbers are on the screen: zero three zero two one one six nine one or zero three zero two two one six nine two. Um, do call me and let me know if your suffering has reduced and for business owners has the economy stabilized. We have Evans from the Bono region. Hello, Evans. Hello. Um, Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? If I'm fine, I'm doing well. Evans, tell me what you think about the vice president's okay, position. Um, looking at what the vice president said, uh, let me say this, uh, uh, what I, I experienced. You know, way back 2014, mm -hmm. yeah, I had two brothers who were, you know, entering the SS, uh, uh, SHS. Yes. And in fact, I was a fact with you, I was then a teacher. Mm hmm and in some way, 300 cities to 400 cities a month. Wow. So I advise uh, one to, you know, um, um, wait mm -hmm. and allow one to go uh, so I could, I could, you know, afford. Then the following year, I will try to, you know, send, send the, the other, other one, one to yes. And in fact, um, it, 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 they didn't agree. Oh. The two of them wanted to go, so, so I had nothing to do than to go for a loan. So I went to my bank, which mm -hmm. was a, a rural bank, yeah. my rural bank in Sekwa, a city in Ketia's town. Uh -huh. So I had uh, 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 2,000 cities, uh, 2,000 cities, um, which I had to pay within um, for three years. Mm -hmm. My sister, I, I, I am uh, uh, compared to what the vice president is saying, mm -hmm. and if that year was supposed to be this year, that 2,000 cities would have been in my pocket. Yeah. Um, um, I, I wouldn't even have gone for the money. Hmm. Uh, uh, the only thing that I, 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 I may have done was to, you know, look for some, you know, student mattress or some, you know, books for them. Yeah. So my sister, you know, read down here. I do all of my TV all the time is on you know, joy, joy, listening to, you know, Roland. He's my, in fact, best friend. That's why he doesn't know me. Look, my sister, I I thank this, you know, you know, president and the, the, the entire governance, you know, God Almighty, I will bless them. My dear, look, some of you, you know, I don't know, some of you are from affluent homes and um, you may not, you know, <laughs> experience or, or feel, you know, how it is to, to, to you know, uh, take care of uh, people in the senior high. My dear, look. My salary then, hmm. 300 cities to four, uh, uh, 400 cities. Wow. Taking care of two guys. Wow. In the secondary school, my dear. 
Okay. Sometimes a teacher, I, I had to stop uh, weekends. I had to, you know, go for labor. Wow. But look, sometimes we sit down here, we, we, we are just tickling ourselves. See? Mm. I'm sure that, that wasn't easy at all. The, 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 the president. In fact, he has, it, is, it is true that our burden uh, is less. It is not, it, it is not completely you know, you know, cleared off. And thank you to Evans from the Bono region. Wow. Oh, I have to speak to Salifu. Salifu, hello. Yeah, good morning, madam. Good morning, my dear. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, and you, madam. I'm doing wonderful. Kindly, tell me your response to what the vice president said. <laughs> madam. I, I think uh, the, the, the vice president is living in another country, not in Ghana. Hmm. That's all I will say. Madam, can you hear me, please? Yeah, I'm listening to you, my dear. Look, the, what the vice president is saying is not true, and I, I want to uh, uh, explain. Look, there are, there are thousands of achievements, the achievement, uh, talking about one, the free senior school. Just recently, the, the, the double track, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the second year students who just came, that's the, the gold track that just came. They are told they are going back. Mm -hmm. And they, they spent only four or five weeks, four mm -hmm. weeks in, in studying. And they are going back to stay at school for about three months. So the, the, that day, and you saw when the, the headmaster announced to them that they are going back and they will be staying for three months. Oh, we lost Salifu there, but thank you for your contributions. Kindly keep your comments pretty short so we can take comments from other people. There's Kofi Bwachi from Sunyani on the line. Hello, Kofi. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, madam. How, How are you doing? doing? I'm fine. How are you no, doing I'm this fine. morning? I'm fine. Please no, tell me I'm your response too. to what the vice president said. I want to hear from you. Yeah, you see, uh, I keep saying this, madam. Yes? You see, as I'm talking to you here, I'm, I'm a banker who's, who was affected by this. Uh, banking cuts and banking yes. issue. I'm in the house now, but thankfully my son is in SS1 now. Uh huh. I mean, imagine if I have to go and pay sometimes two thousand, three thousand just to pay the fees. What would the son, my son be by now? Hmm. You see, as they're affected by this thing, which is quite yeah. painful. But I understand yeah. it. I would say I would say the bank is better myself, madam. We were struggling. Trust me. Though I'm, though I'm in the house not working now. But, I mean, I can't take my only issue to be the whole case. But Ghana could have gone down. The whole economy could have gone down. Because we knew what was going on. So please, let's, let's stop this politics and this kind of thing. And be sincere to ourselves. To help Ghana move forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there's Daniel on the line from Adenta. Good morning, Daniel. How are you? Hello, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning, Daniel. How are you yeah, doing? I'm doing well. Kindly, let what? me listen to you. Talk to me. Yes, what the Vice President said... Uh, he hit the nail right on the head. Um, uh, the Free Senior High School has helped uh, me in particular very well mm -hmm. because I have a, n a number of uh, cousins who are in SS mm -hmm. and uh, just wondering how I would have been able to pay for all these people. Mm. Uh, I have uh, two sisters who are in the nursing training college. Mm -hmm. And the allowances which they are receiving is giving me some reprieve before I would have sent them some statements at the end of the month. Mm. But because of the, 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 the allowances that is being paid to them, it has taken that head up to me. I think that is the crux of what the president was talking about. In the absence of this, what would have been the alternative for me? I would have been spending. And so the vice president is not saying that we have completely eradicated uh, suffering from the people, okay. but he's saying that we have reduced it to a larger extent. And so, um, if in the absence of all this, people would have been suffering more than what we are experiencing now. And so I agree with the vice president when he says he we have reduced suffering to a larger extent. Thank you, Daniel, for my data. We have Moses on the line from Keta. Hello, Moses. Good morning. Hello. Hi, good Gideon. Morning. Good morning. We lost Moses. Good morning, Gideon. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Gideon. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Now, the vice president said they've, they've stabilized the economy and they reduced suffering. What is your opinion on that one? <laughs> My sister, it seems like the vice president is not in Ghana. <laughs> I heard a contribution of 
other people they are saying that because of their wars were, uh, 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 were admitted into the free senior school and then it has relieved suffering. But I'm a banker. I've been relieved from my banking post. I'm at home. Mm. I have to pay my rent. Good. My son is in three, uh, 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 in one of the schools. But I have to pay rent. Mm. My dear. Mm. And then uh, my, my rent has expired. The money is demanding. They have increased my rent. Mm. How am I going to get money to, to, to pay? At least, listen. There should be a systematic approach in terms of the policies that uh, 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 they introduce. And then if they want to collapse anything or they want to do anything, they should take a, another thought of it. It is not like one sector to be booming and then the other sector to be, to be coming down. Mm. It is not, no, they are coming back from the free senior high school. What are they coming to eat? This Christmas is Sakura. What are they going to eat? Mm. What are we going to do? Mm. Well, we have to visit us. Mm. So the extended family, you know, in Ghana we practice the extended family yes, issue. Yes, we do. And then they have to come back and then everybody is demanding. Mm. So I don't know where our vice president is talking from. Maybe they are now enjoying it. Now everything is now good for them. Those who are calling, it seems like they are some of their apparatchiks. And those days, my, we were seven. Our daddy was a farmer. He sent all of us to school. Okay. And we, today, we are all prominent people. Where did we get the money from? We so we didn't go through the free in our school. Madam, thank you very much, Miss Mary. You've made my day. Thank you so much, Gideon. God, God bless you Merry too, Christmas. Gideon. Merry Christmas to you too. And from Gideon to another Gideon. Gideon from Suhum, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Bye. Gideon, Grace. by his grace, beautiful. I'm also doing well. Now, I want to know your opinion and your thoughts on what the vice president said over the well, weekend. What our, president, our vice president is saying is a big lie. Mm. Well, let me take these two issues. One, concerning about the banking center. Uh -huh. Let's say if five people, depending on one person, and 1,000 people lost their job, then how many people are now going to suffer? That is almost 5,000. Yeah. 5,000. They should trace the history of USA, 1969. What happened over there? Mm. The government injected the money into the banking sector to revive it. Mm. And now we are using our, we the taxpayers' money to do cost something. People are looking at mm. And now, now come to the free agents. Are we looking at a wholesale or we are looking at the quality? Mm. What are they doing over there? Hey, madam, mm. I will ask you to go down to secondary school and uh -huh. check whether there is a quality teaching that is going on. Mm. When you don't, if there is a job, parents pay their teeth school fees. If they have the money, they are chopping the money, they should chop it themselves. They, sh they should stop going back into our eyes. Mm. Mm. So, thank you very much. Thank you too, Gideon. And we're moving to another Gideon from Navongo. Good morning, Gideon. How are you doing? I'm okay, madam. Good morning. Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing too? I'm okay, by the grace of God. Are you sure? You don't really sound. And I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions <laughs> on what the vice president has said over the weekend. In fact, these are politicians are just disaster to our country. Hmm. Seriously, they are not connected with this at all. Things are tough for us. Hmm. And the better they listen and do the right thing is better. Rather than recruiting other politicians and they will be calling saying that things are good, things are this. Meanwhile, the ordinary people are suffering. Mm -hmm. We all know that we are all in the system. We know what is happening. So it's better the government do the right thing. When they, they succeed, Ghana is going to benefit. We are all benefiting. Thank you very much. Thank you too, Gideon. And now we have Kahad on the line. Hello, Kahad. Good morning. Hello. I think we lost him there. Hello, Kahad. Hello. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Okay, now I want to also, I know you're ready to tell me your opinions on what the vice president said. Let, let, talk to me. Yes, um, 
Actually, when I listened to the vice president yesterday, I was totally surprised. Mm. Because uh, I don't know why people should look into the face of Ghana and claim that uh, if, uh, they've reduced the suffering of Ghana. Ghanaians are rather suffering. Mm. And they prefer to do. And, and you see, the surprise thing is that when you complain, there is able to what impossibility in that time. And that was even the main reason why we voted for you people and really reduce and eliminate the suffering of Ghanaians. But Ghanaians are further suffering more. And we beg, we beg, we beg. They should rather, they should not do what they do with Ghanaians that mm -hmm. when they come, they are going to do. And stop this comparison. It doesn't help us. We don't need those comparisons. We should rather stop uh, 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 what is the name of in uh, reducing the suffering of Ghana? Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you too. And we're moving to Boku West, and there's Godwin on the line. Good morning, Godwin. Hello. Good morning, Godwin. Good morning, madam. How are you, my dear? How are you doing this morning? Godwin, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, Godwin. I'm here. I can hear yeah. you clearly. How are you doing this morning? Hello. Hello, Godwin. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. You're beautiful. Um, can can you reduce the volume on your set and speak to me so I can I can hear you clearly? Yeah. Um, I'm originally from Tamale. Yeah. Please speak to uh, me. Hello. Hello. I'm hearing you clearly. Yeah. Um, the issue about the vice president's speech. Uh, this is shocking to hear from our number two gentleman of the land doing childish politics. I was, I was amazed and I was even uh, shocked mm. to hear from the vice president that they have performed better. Mm. To look into our faces, see the depreciation of the city, mm. whereby he was telling us that he has arrested the dollar and has given the key to the IGP. Mm. This man don't even feel shame. He looked into the eyes of Ghanaians and said that he has put money into our pockets. Mm. How much money have they taken from our pockets since they have assumed power? Mm. They have taken over 200 billion. And now he's saying that they are putting money into our pocket. My sister, mm. look at something here. Mm -hmm. If your government has taken over 200 billion mm -hmm. of tax from our pocket, and you, you, you turn around, putting 30 Ghana cities back to each and every Ghanaian pocket, and you are saying that you are putting money into our pocket. Is it not an insult? Hmm. The vice president is thinking that we are having a dust in our mind. Until 7th January, uh, uh, December 2020, that you get to know that we are having brains. Hmm. We are thinking enough. Hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Godwin. And to our last corner, In Inusa. Inusa, good morning. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm Inusa, I have one question for you. Has your suffering reduced? Um, I have some short question to ask you. The, yesterday, I um, viewed the, my television, the MPP National Delegates Conference. Why Vice President didn't sit in a next president? And then you reach the National Chairman seat before the presidency. Sometimes I don't understand the current Vice President. The current vice president didn't know anything about politics. Every month, how many, how many people go up? Every month. But this, this man goes to 2015 to 2016. If this man any might, apart from, apart from MPP campaign, he said that, that we want to do, create a job, we want to do this, we want to do this, look at the food. If they go up currently, how much do you buy the for one gallon for petrol? Mm. This current vice president is doing from propaganda or bad propaganda. Mm. 
And thanks to the news from Tamay. That'll be all for the calls. We'll be taking a break. We'll be right back.